Hi, I'm Ashley Gardner, the owner of Pinot's Palette Bricktown, and this is Pour Yourself a Masterpiece, your insider guide to painting, drinking, and having fun. On today's episode, spring is upon us, and I'm going to show you a really easy and delicious recipe that you can bring to your next class here at Pinot's Palette. So with all of our classes, you're always welcome to bring something to snack on. We recommend finger foods since you have your paint palette, your water cup, your brushes. Finger foods tend to work out best. So today I'm going to show you how to make some cheesecake stuffed strawberries. This is going to be so easy and so delicious, and I'm going to walk you through it step by step. So first we want to start off with some fresh washed strawberries. And what we are going to do with this is cut off the tops of each one and then use a little melon baller to scoop out the insides. The last thing you want to do is cut off the ends of it so that it can stand up straight. So I'm going to walk you through this. Let's cut off the top of this. And then it's very easy just to scoop out the inside and then we'll cut off the end so that it can stand up straight. And as you fill up your platter, they can kind of lean against each other for a little support. I know some strawberries are, you know, different shapes and sizes, so if they need to stand next to one another, that'll help it out. So I'm just getting these cut up Cut the tops off and use this to scoop out the inside and then cut off the bottom. So I'm going to continue to do this one by one until we get our platter completely full. All right, so once you have all of your strawberries with the tops cut off, a little bit of the bottom cut off and the inside scooped out. Then we're gonna move on to the next step. So for the next step, we are going to make a cheesecake mixture to fill our strawberries with. So what you want is just one block of cream cheese that has been softened. You wanna let that cream cheese sit out for just a couple of hours so it can get nice and softened. The next thing you're going to want is half a cup of powdered sugar. So we're just gonna pour this powdered sugar in there. And the last thing you are going to want is some vanilla. And we're just going to do half a tablespoon of vanilla. Pour that in there. And then we are going to use a mixer and get this all mixed up till it's nice and creamy. Okay, so now that we have this all mixed up and nice and creamy, we're now going to put it into a piping bag. Now the tip I have on this is a large star and we're just gonna use our spoon to kind of get the excess off the beaters. And then we're going to spoon this into our piping bag. Try to get as much of that as possible off. Smells really good. Okay, now that we have that done, we are going to fill our strawberries with this yummy cream cheese mixture. So I'm just going to twist this and we'll just do kind of a dollop into each strawberry. And by using a piping bag, this is going to make it really easy and clean to fill all of your strawberries evenly with a nice star tip. And with spring, 
right around the corner. Uh, this is going to be awesome to make for any class that you attend here. And I also have a really cool thing that we can put on top um, if you're doing this for Easter. And for Easter, we actually have some awesome paintings coming up. We have one called Blooming Cross that is going to be on the Saturday before Easter. And that same evening, we are going to do a paint your own wine glass class. This class is one of my favorites. It's so much fun to really get to customize your own wine glasses for you to keep or give away as a gift. So it's going to be a really fun class. Now that we have all of our strawberries filled with this delicious cream cheese mixture, the last thing you can do, if this is gonna be for maybe an Easter party or really anything, you can add graham crackers on top or I found these really adorable graham cracker bunnies. And you just put one of those in the top of each of your strawberries. So there you have it how to make these delicious, super easy, no-bake uh, cheesecake strawberries topped with a little Easter bunny. And uh, you want to bring this to your next class at Pino's Palette. Be sure to check out all of our upcoming classes at pinospalette.com slash bricktown. And be sure to check up on past episodes and future episodes of Pour Yourself a Masterpiece at pinospalette.com slash bricktown. Thanks so much, and we look forward to painting, drinking, and having fun with you soon. Now let's taste one of these. Mm. So good. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time.